Ladies and gentlemen, it's top of the hour. And of course, my good name is Sky Kakwe, straight out of Kenya Online Media. Now join me as we look at what went down today and what were the highlights of the day. Mumia's East Member of Parliament, Peter Selassia, has come forward to reveal intriguing details about himself, stating why he actually closes his eyes while speaking in public or addressing people. Members, uh, <laughs> ah, let me tell you, uh, you uh, disability is not an ability. Okay, so that's disability. It's not an ability. Na kwa na download. Unajua pale. Unafikiria? Na kwa kwa downloading by the way. Na access files. Na access files. Eh? <laughs> Comedian Eric Omondi yet again today has taken the initiative to help Ras Bingi who shared a clip of his house flooded after the heavy rains. <laughs> Hard go. Take him money. Na bado kunaendelea tu kunyasha. Hapana kwa mi. Content creator Terence Creative has taken to social media to send card that is media personality Betty Mutekialo a special message after trending uh, whereby a uh, flare by Betty was put up for auction. Betty Chalo's post about his business, uh, her sharing her challenges, and uh, she finally decided to let go. Nah, whatever happened, happened, and uh, it is business. And I've seen people go and check out what I'm frying, Let me tell you, my friend, my friend, I'm telling you, my friends, this is life, okay? And don't laugh at people at their lowest moment, don't. Don't be that person. Now ride along with me as we dig deeper into the stories. Hard go. Take your money. Na bado kunaendelea tu kunyasha. Hapana kwa mi. Eh. This morning, a sad video has taken rounds on social media of one known as Stephen Bingi, better known as Ras Bingi. Now, Ras came to the lim uh, limelight this year after he was interviewed at the Chipukizi show by comedian Chipukizi and people loved his reggae vibe, how he speaks and the fact that he actually looks like a kid. Actually, many were mistaken, uh, mistaken him for a kid asking how he knows uh, so much Sheng and Shebeteng and uh, all that language uh, saying that he should be in school but later on actually knowing that he is an adult people loved the vibe and how he relates to the reggae music now a few weeks later he met with his excellency william ruto the president at the state house and people were just intrigued by how he is rising to fame now yesterday night following the la uh, the large large and huge floods that stormed nairobi ras took to social media to record a video showing how his uh, humble home was actually flooded by the rains now he showed how his boots were floating on water and how the uh, the dirty water was actually in his house uh, saying that it's still raining heavily where he hails from and this is something that has saddened kenyans now taking to the comment section Fla uh, fans actually flooded tagging Eric Komondi saying that uh, he actually has another case to handle now it's just yesterday where Eric Komondi with his initiative Sisi Kwa Sisi actually helped the man that was being harassed in front of his child uh, uh, in the pipeline area due to a hundred shilling not Eric Komondi together with sport on a vacation CEO Mark Steve took the initiative to actually uh, fundraise for this guy and they set up a shop for him and his son. Now today, yet again, the situation of Ras Bingi has been uh, brought to attention and Eric Omondi has taken the initiative to actually help Stephen Bingi. Now, uh, taking to his Instagram, this is what Eric Omondi posted and I quote. 
Yaani hii Kenya siwezi pumzika hata siku moja. Huyu kijana si alikuwa na president last week state house. Someone DM me his number. Huyu tunamhamisha leo na to change life yake forever. Eric Omondi was uh, actually saddened talking about how he has seen Ras with the uh, with the uh, Kenyan president just last week but he said that he is willing to help and that he is going to shift him and taking uh, take him to a better home just today. Now fans however have been asking uh, if everyone is going to be you know uh, helped by Eric Omondi because uh, uh, according to people most Kenyans are actually suffering. So a uh, one by the name Christine was actually asking how many Kenyans are going to be helped by Eric Omondi and she took to the comments to ask uh, Eric Omondi sasa kuhamisha nayo tutahamisha wangapi hope Kenyan sote atuko sawa na juani wengi watataka kuhama pia and Eric Omondi was stunned by saying one life at a time tutafika tu so guys we are waiting to see what Eric Omondi with CC kwa CC are going to actually take Ras Bingi and hoping that he actually gets support from Kenyans in other news so why na kwa naongea like ukifunga macho una access file every word because you remember like every word you are speaking in the public when i analyze Mumia's East Member of Parliament Peter Salasia has hit the airwaves yet again after coming up with an interesting explanation. Now this is after fans actually wondered why does the MP actually talk when his eyes are closed? Now in an interview with Oga Obina MP uh, Peter Salasia was able to explain as to why this happens because people have realized when he is addressing the public or talking to someone he is not able to face them directly or look at them and he uh, occasionally closes his eyes as he tries to speak now Comically he was able to explain this and he said that he needs to actually think about what he is going to say next carefully saying that being a, a member of parliament and being an important person who people are keenly listening to he should be able to uh, look at the words he is going to talk next really carefully before saying them now interestingly he was else uh, also uh, able to uh, clarify that he is a shy person he acknowledged that he is shy and he is not able to look at a person directly because of his shyness sana kwa ndo una mabaka macho chitukia eh nilifanya hivyo siku nyingine ndio chitukia jamaa amefika amefika amechachukua ni microphone unajua kama angekuwa kama ningemuona ningepiga hela microphone ningepasua yeye kichwa na microphone ana bila mwesha analala eh sasa unajua alikuwa anafanya hasa unajua si wasiangalie yangu watu nikiongea Jikulajua unaweza kuwa shy. Sio wewe unakonga shy. Eh una una. But I noticed that okay. Now eh mimi Miss Tishwi. Eh wamevunja gari. Eh kumbe ni kuwa shy. Eh nikuna kwa kwa unajua eh iko tu kama for example. Okay. Mtu anazaliza mbona unaweza kuwa na courage hivi? Kuna watu ambao sijui na mnapatanga wapi courage. Yeah. Eh, kuna mtu ambaye una address watu wengi lakini kwa approach dem tu ukiona tu dem tu hivi tu dem tu unaogopa yani one on one unaogopa huyo ni mimi eh mimi dem akiniambia vitu mzuri one on one eh. na filingi sijui ni seme nini eh. naishiwa na maneno eh. Yesi, eh, 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 eh. Eh. karibu ni kwa eh <laughs> the water so jawa and you wanted to jawa maybe that could be the reason <laughs> now yet again mp peter salasia in the same interview was able to give an interesting story of what happened to him a certain time where he consumed alcohol that was said to be counterfeit now in an attempt to talk to fans telling them that alcohol is not a good thing and even talk to kenyans to lower the uh, alcohol uh, consumption that they take and saying that they should be we uh, should be aware of the clubs and the bars that they actually buy alcohol from because most of them are counterfeit now he went ahead to mention a brand that he took and say that it was counterfeit and the episodes that led shortly after the consumption of the alcohol now peter salasia was able to say that he indeed took off all his clothes naked and lied on the floor because he felt like he was having too much heat on his body like he was feeling so hot and he needed the floor to actually cool him off saying that he felt like he was in a roller coaster like the 
head was spinning and all that now this is something that fans have found intriguing and of course people are saying that the way peter salasia talks about his experiences the way he talks generally he should have been a comedian instead of a politician now what do you think about peter salasia in these two uh, short experiences in other news you know i really appreciate all the love but let me tell you i'm good i'm happier and um, i just learned to let go if something costs you your peace your sleep your happiness you get home you're not happy because you're thinking about stressful situations you just let it go and i'm so so happy right now and um i really appreciate all the love and for citizen by the way you guys don't have to be scared of a tv comeback <laughs> so guys i'm heading out to aftershave by flair la baita we've been closed for two months because of expansion and renovations and i just want to see you guys come through for a haircut for a facial for a massage come through aftershave la baita i'm heading there i want to see you there see you soon since yesterday, Kenyan media personality and businesswoman Betty Mutei Kialo has been trending on the internet. This is after her beauty shop, Flair by Betty, has been put up for auction by Kissian auctioneers, saying that the items and the household appliances of the Flair by Beauty will be sold off on the April of 17th, 2024, and this is because of pending rent arrears. Now, according to the landlord, uh, the likes of shelves, massage stands, beds, mirrors, microwaves, office furniture, barber seats, CCTV cameras, routers, and even kitchen appliances will be up for auction on the said date. Now, most people have taken uh, different opinions based on this story, and some are actually going with the narrative that Betty is broke. Others are talking about the business that she had on that particular shop is done with people uh, uh, going by the narrative that it could have been a wash wash business. And that's why once they had cleaned the money, then that was all for Flair by Betty. But what shocked fans is actually yesterday, Betty also also launched a new shop known as Aftershave by Flair in Upper Il Labide. Now, Betty took the social media to actually address the issue, saying that running a business in Kenya is very difficult and that landlords don't want to reduce the rent and uh, that makes the business uh, very, very difficult to run because of the economic slowdown in the country. But she went ahead to clarify that she is happier and better. Now, today, comedian, content creator and YouTuber Terence Creative has taken Taken to social media to actually address this Betty issue and Terence in a video that he shared on his Instagram story went ahead to condemn the fans friends and people that have been distancing themselves from Betty talking ill of her actually he supported the idea that business in Kenya is indeed very difficult and that it's not okay for people to be waiting for others downfall he went ahead to wish Betty Mutekialo all the best telling her that she will indeed rise again. Betty Chalo's post about his business, uh, her sharing her challenges, and uh, she finally decided to let go. Now, nah, whatever happened, happened. And uh, it is business. And I've seen people go and check out what I'm saying. Let me tell you, my friend. My friend, I'm telling you, my friends, this is life. Okay? And don't laugh at people at their lowest moment. Don't. Don't be that person. Don't be that kind. That wewe kazi yako ni kuchekelea watu wakati wananguka. This is life. Things turn around. But to my sister Betty, I know you will rise again. Because uh, there's always one option. Also, Betty Mutei's uh, sister, that is Gloria Chalo, took to social media to write a warm message for Betty, encouraging her, saying that she is very brave to do what many business owners cannot do, and that is prioritizing her peace of mind and embracing the change that has to come with the difficulty in business. And for sure, she wished her the best. And this is what Gloria Chalo said, and I quote, 
He is to be for being brave enough to do what many business owners are unable to do, to prioritize their peace of mind and to embrace a change. We are learning the valuable lesson of letting go of something that doesn't deserve you anymore. The success in your future is in a, a, an imaginable B. They'll see. Now let's open the new and revamped aftershave by Flair. Blessings on blessings, Betty Mute Kialo. Now, uh, the story is still trending. People are having different narratives. And others are talking about that could have been a strategy for her to launch after shave by Flair. But really, is that the case? Let me know your opinion on the comment section. Well, that's all for today's highlights. Of course, join me tomorrow, same time, same place for more highlights. Also, don't forget to visit our website at www.kom.co.ke even for more entertainment news. Ladies and gentlemen, my good name is Sky Kakwe and this is Kenya Online Media. Hey, Yombachi, let's go.